Hi everybody, welcome to On The Spectrum Kitchen. Today, we're gonna to be making a little cake called Depression Cake. It's a cake that they made during the Great Depression era, and the recipe is from BudgetBites.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Alrighty, let's get baking. All right, so full disclosure, you should know, as I was filming, for some reason, my phone stopped automatically, so I'm redoing this part, I apologize. First things first, as I was saying, Preheat your oven to 350. And you add one and a half cups of flour, one cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda. Now this I didn't add yet, because I just discovered the camera stopped a little bit ago. We're gonna add a one third cup of cocoa powder. I guess I should have told you this is a chocolate cake with chocolate icing. And we're gonna stir until combined. All the way, you've got to combine it and not. So we're going to give it a mix in. Now, we're going to add one cup of water to this one. Oh, my apologies. And then we are going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract into this bowl here. It may sound weird, but it's probably Then we're going to add one tablespoon of vinegar. For this recipe, it calls for white vinegar, rice, or apple cider vinegar. Right? My hands are a little shaky, so bear with me. Okay. I hope you can see well. Um, Alright, you don't want to put it out since it was. No shit, there's no egg in here, so let me feel. The one gets peeled. Now we're going to add a one third cup of oil to the dry mixture. You can use vegetable, canola, sunflower, I think grapeseed, etc. But like I said, I'll put the recipe in the description below and you'll be able to find out. Okay. And we're also going to add the water mixture. And we're going to stir all of this into a cooked line. Make sure the cake batter is completely smooth. You know what, if you want to use an electric whisk, that's totally fine. But I'm just using this by hand today. I make this recipe before, it's my mom's absolute favorite. She always asks me every given opportunity to make it. Or you'll see a couple of ones, but I think that's just from dry mixture. No big deal if that happens. All right, it's pretty much smooth. Now, grab an eight by eight or a nine by nine pan. I'm using nine by nine. I hope the music's okay. Well, it seems to be a little bit. Oh, I just learned some of this is not stir all the way. If you see that happening, uncooked flour is a big no-no when it comes to baking. So just stir that. Make sure you stir it thoroughly, my apologies. Trust but verify. Okay. All right, so just smooth it out. All right, then since there's no eggs in it, you can just lick the spoon. Just pat it down a little bit to get some air bubbles out of there. And just smooth it out a smidge. And 
we are going to bake this in the oven for about 35 minutes. And once it's done cooling, we're going to get started on the frosting. All right. Let me turn this down a little bit. Now the cake is out of the oven. It's nice and cold. I'm going to come a little closer so you can see. It's lovely. Now, it's time to make the icing. So we're going to take one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Sifted, of course. Might not sifted because of some problems, but it's okay. A one-fourth cup of cocoa powder. And, you can shake this with me. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, we are going to add the, the one tablespoon of water, one tablespoon at a time, so it's terrible. It'll be a total of three tablespoons. I don't worry, my hands are clean. Right. I'll stir, and we're going to keep stirring and adding water until it's pourable enough. I don't know if it's difficult to so I have to stop real quick. Alright, it may take a little while here. A cut might get a little, your foot might get a little attached. You can use an electric whisk if you want to. I'm just doing this all by hand. Oh, it's not too far. My apologies. Alright, as you learned from the incident of making the cake batter, make sure it's stirred all the way to the side. There's no butter in this, we don't have to worry about anything else. I guess this is what they did for icing and stuff back then. Warm this. And we'll point, grab any kind of flat spoon or an offset spatula. Make sure you scoop it all. I forgot to mention this. You don't have to take out the cake, scoop the cake out of the pan if you don't want to. And you'll get some stuff to the edge, but that's eh, okay. It's one merrier, right? All right. You don't have to cover it completely if you don't want to. So I'm just trying to make sure I do everything because it's all a little corky like that. Okay. And I'm going to come to you for the big reveal. And there you have it, depression cake. Let the frosting harden for a minute on the sides until you start, before you start cutting it up. All right, so thank you so much for watching today's On the Spectrum Kitchen. If you like what you saw, Hit like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. And please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll have the link to the recipe down below so you can visit the site. But I'll still put the recipe down in the description. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.